What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to week, I think, 7 of WBE. I've, I've lost track, it's been a couple of weeks, um, or it's been a couple of days since the battle actually happened, because my internet was out yesterday when I wanted to record the intro for this before I uploaded it, uh, and now it's back up, so we're good to go. If you guys want to do me a favor, support the channel, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, do whatever you want, join the Discord, follow me on Twitter, uh, praise me as your lord and savior, whatever you feel like, man. Uh, any one of those things is fine. Uh, maybe all of them, maybe none of them. But this week, uh, we're facing off versus versus Network, and uh, his team is actually pretty scary. Uh, what I found, though, is that Venusaur or Charizard is pretty much going to be my best Dynamax. They do have the Goth-Ant combo, which is really scary. Uh, so what I have here is a pretty physically defensive Black Glasses Mandibuzz with Weak Armor, Sunny Day, Foul Play, Tail, and Protect. Really, I'm just excited to get to, to, get to click Sunny Day during the match, because uh, this thing is speed crept to outspeed everything on his side of the field. If I get a Weak Armor boost, whether it be from a Fake Out or getting hit by like max rock fall by protect or something uh but yeah next up we have a venusaur with chlorophyll life orb sludge bomb energy ball weather ball protect sunny day is going to be great for turning that weather ball into a fire move to one shot durant without needing to dynamax which is really awesome next up we have chartyberry mega charizard uh, Mega Charizard. Uh, Charizard G Max with Heat Wave, Air Slash, Solar Beam Protect. The reason we're running Heat Wave on this thing uh, is because I would prefer to not have to deal with Alex with shenanigans versus a Durant and Gothitelle combo, which is the most annoying thing. It allows me to hit it as long as I'm under Tailwind or have a speed boost. I don't have to deal with that. I don't have to make any calls. Next up, we have Shed Shell Klefki, which is going to be really useful versus that Gothitelle. It'll allow me to set up Sunny Day or Rain Dance and then just switch out on. Uh, on the trapping Gothitelle because they tend to run um, Shadow Tag, which is really, really annoying. And also, the uh, Rain Dance is going to be really cool for turning that Weather Ball into a Water type move to one shot uh, the Incineroar they have on their team. Dazzling Gleam Thunder Wave, standard speed control and offensive moves. Rindle Berry Slow King has Ice Beam Skull Trick and Protect in case they decide to go Trick Room Mode versus me, which I don't expect, but it's important to be prepared for that. Um, this is my matchup versus a Alolan Executor, which they have. Ice Beam is going to be doing tons of damage, uh, and Rindle Berry will allow me to take a Grass move from them, whether it be Leaf Storm or even Max Overgrowth, I believe. Uh, and next up, we have the Eject Button Hit on top. Brick Break, Fake Out, Detect, Helping Hand. Brick Break is just really good for helping out versus that Grim Snarl that might want to be setting up screens. Intimidate's really nice for just lowering the attack on the Durant if need be, and Helping Hand is just an amazing move to, uh, I guess, lend a Helping Hand. But yeah, with that, let's go ahead and get into the battle. I'll see you guys uh, over there. Jadies and Lentilman, Young Shell Silverstein here, switching up the first couple letters of every word. Uh, just kidding. No, we're, we are back with WBE Season 1 VGC 2020 stuff. I, I, I cannot speak right now. But uh, we're back, and I'm excited for this week. This week we're bringing some heat. We're using the Sunny Day Mandibuzz with the weak armor, and I think that's actually going to be really heat this week. Uh, we're facing off against versus network uh i almost said versus versus network and i feel like that would have that would have, that would have just confused people but let's go ahead and get into it i'm real excited go ahead leave a like if you want to support the channel feeling pretty good about this week and they did bring pretty much the team i was expecting uh that's actually really good for me i'm hoping they actually lead off goth ant uh what i'll do here is i'll actually go with uh venusaur mandibuzz because it's actually not a terrible lead here um Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Venus or Mandibuzz doesn't look too bad. In the back, I kind of want to do Klefki. Kind of want to do Klefki. And I think I'm gonna go Charizard just because it seems safe. Um, basically, what, what I'm hoping for here is for them to lead off Goth Ant and to go for the Fake Out into the uh, Mandibuzz and to attack the Venusaur so I can go for a Protect turn one. And then I'll be able to set up my Sunny Day and just go for the uh, Weather Ball to knock it out, which would be really, really useful. Um, yeah, th that's honestly what I'm hoping for the most here. Um, I think regardless, regardless, I'm not in too bad of a position since I'm running a, you know, I'm running a uh, pretty, I think I'm just modest max speed in this Venusaur, I already forgot. Let me double check. <laughs> I'm pretty certain Venusaur can take a max airstream when it's Dynamax, so I might need to do that if they end up going with the Inteleon. Alright. Let me send this man a GLHF. I have not done that yet. There we go. <laughs> Alright. 
Raichu Gothitelle. I can actually live with that. I think I can live with that. While I don't like being stuck in here, um, I, I can live with that. Kind of want to protect. And just go for the foul play on what I assume is going to be a fake out trick room turn. Uh, I'd like to break a possible sash on this Raichu. I'll go for that. I'll just foul play into the uh, Raichu and protect the uh, the Venusaur here. As they up to Dynamax, so it looks like they're playing for Raichu here. Or it could be a uh, Dynamax Gothitelle for all I know. I, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about this, I'm not going to lie. There's the Dynamax Gothitelle, okay. So that's something we have to keep in mind. It looks like they're running a bit more of an offensive spread. I have not heard that thing Dynamax yet. That is scary. It's got a respectable special attack stat too, so we have to be real careful with that. So I'm going to protect here. Let's see what we catch. There's the fake out into the protect, which is really good for us. We get my foul play off. Yeah, okay, that's some decent damage. There's a max mind storm. Looks like they're playing to remove the Venusaur from the field, which I don't think I need the Venusaur as long as I can play my um as long as I can play my boy effectively in the back, that, that young Charizard. Uh, so what I'll actually do here is I mean I'm gonna be faster than this Gothitelle. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just double up into this Raichu. So we'll go for the Sludge Bomb. Is Sludge Bomb the right play? I could energy ball just to be safe. It does the same damage. Uh, it looks like Energy Ball is slightly safer in case they decide to go Ant or something. I don't think they would go Ant here though. I th yeah, I'll just Sludge Bomb. I'll just Sludge Bomb. Uh, we also still have full health on the on the Mandibus, so I'll also just go for the uh, Tailwind here, uh, which should be really helpful if I need to get in Charizard next turn. There's the Nuzzle. I don't mind that into the Venusaur as long as they're not too fast of a Gothitelle. I should be fine. I just have to not get fully paralyzed. Here's my Tailwind. And we do get off the Sludge Bomb, which is really good. I'm hoping they just remove my boy here. I would very much like for them to remove the boy. There's that Max Mind Storm. And I think this next turn, I'll actually just go ahead and double protect. And we'll get in the Charizard. And I should be able to double protect. Actually, you know what I can do? I can get off my Sunny Day and protect. Uh, maybe it's safer just to double protect. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think I might just do that. We'll, we'll go for the double. Because it just makes it so they can't really do much to me. Like, Max Mindstorm is going to hurt, but it's not like it's super effective or anything. It doesn't look like they have a life orb. So I think I'm fine with this. And uh, the reason I'm not going for Sunny Day right off the bat here is because I just don't feel like having my Mandibuzz get nuzzled. There's the Incineroar. Uh, I can live with that. I can live with that, actually. There's the Intimidate. What I'll do here is I'll go for the uh, Max Airstream. Or not the Max Airstream. I'll go for the Max uh, the Max Wildfire into that Gothitelle because I should be able to eat pretty much anything. Kind of wishing I went for the for the Sunny Day here. And actually, I wouldn't mind if they go for Fake Out into the Mandibuzz. It'll actually give me what I need. As they max Lightning. Okay. We eat that up pretty well. We should take a Thunderbolt even when we're Dynamaxed. I could actually just double into this thing, to be honest. I could just double into the um, Gothitelle, but I don't think it'll matter too much. Alright. So what I'll do here is I will set up my Max Wildfire on the Gothitelle. It'll get me some nice, uh, it'll get me a nice little weather effect in the field, and I'll set up a Sunny Day. They're probably gonna fake out into the Mandibuzz, which is fine because I get my weak armor. And I should take a hit from this Gothitelle pretty well. Granted, Charizard is going to go, I believe, after my Mandibuzz. I'm running 92 speed in the Charizard, so it's just barely faster than my Mandibuzz. There's the weak armor. 
This should do a decent chunk. And then we get the solar power boost. Hopefully the Thunderbolt doesn't do too much. Or maybe we'll just get a one-shot, who knows. Alright, there's the Wildfire, that's good. That is now within range of Foul Play. Ow, that did a lot, and now I'm taking Solar Power. Ooh, I don't know, oh, critical hit. Oh no, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's like the only thing that could have gone wrong there. I'm, I'm kind of upset about that. Oh man, okay. Um, I do have my... It is possible to win this still, but I have to be really careful. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go for the Max Airstream and the Sunny Day. Because I have to get as much damage off on this Incinera as possible since Gothita will drop in a few turns. And I have to not get fully paralyzed. I, I just cannot get fully paralyzed as the thing. That's so unfortunate. Crit into Para. I would have been in a really, really good spot. Don't get fully paralyzed, Charizard. This Incineroar is super difficult to deal with if you get fully paralyzed. I need this max Airstream damage. We still got one turn of Tailwind. Come on, buddy. Come on. There's the max Airstream. Okay, that's going to be doing a chunk. Oh, we almost just one shot. That's 100% within Dazzling Gleam range. Um, and I don't know if I take the Flare Blitz as the issue, though. I don't know if I take the Flare Blitz at minus two in the sun. But it should just knock itself out is the thing. Uh, if there's a Grim Snarl in the back, I, I can win with Klefki. I can win with Klefki. If there's a Grim Snarl. There's the Flare Blitz. It should just knock itself out. All right, cool, cool. This is doable. I need it to be Grim Snarl if I want to win. Wow, that was so annoying. Ah, oh, man. I don't like that. I would have kept my uh, Charizard, I think. Because I wouldn't have been forced to Airstream there. I would have just gone into Goth again. There's the Inteleon. I don't know if that's doable. Let me Thunder Wave here. I'm going to Thunder Wave the Inteleon. Hopefully the uh, Raichu doesn't come in. I don't think Raichu would come in at all. I don't think that's at all their play. There's my Thunder Wave. I need a lot of full Paras. There's the Snipe Shot. Don't be Crit Teleon. They're going to be Crit Teleon, I guarantee it. Okay, no Crit this turn. They do get off the Thunderbolt. Oh wow, that hurts. That hurts real bad. Uh, I think that's just game. Because I don't have Protect on this on this thing. And the Raichu does have one more health. Alright, that's a, that's a bit unfortunate. That Crit Para kind of messed me up. Alright, uh, I suppose I just still Dazzling Gleam. No, for the best. But uh, there's definitely a nuzzle coming my way. There's the fake out, full para, full para. No, there's the snipe shot. Live. <laughs> oh, all right. And it looks like they probably are scope lens. So unfortunately, we're gonna lose game one there. Uh, not not happy with how it happened, but I think we can make a comeback here. All right, uh, we have to be mindful about the Dynamax on the um, on the Gothitel now. Would you like to see your opponent's lead card? Yes, please. Actually, I would uh, very much enjoy that. And we'll play with the same rules. I might swap out my lead here. I think I might end up going for. I mean, well, they had, they had Raichu, they had uh, Gothitel, they had Inteleon, and they had. Um, Incineroar. How do I adjust here? I mean, I could just go hard Trick Room mode, but I don't think my Trick Room mode really beats them since I have, um, <laughs> since my Slow King doesn't have much to hit them. 
I just I could just go for the raw Charizard play. I could just do that, but um, I don't have protect on my Klefki. Hmm. We'll try this. Venusaur in the back, and I think I still bring Mandibuzz. I kind of want to bring Hitmontop though. Then again, I only really have Brick Break on that thing. Uh, we'll go. We'll go Mandibuzz. We'll go Mandibuzz once more. Watch them actually lead off Gothant this time. That'd be so disappointing. <laughs> Just apologized for the uh, for the hacks. It's all good though. It's all good. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I should live just about everything that they have to throw at me. So what I'll do here is I'll just protect and set up the uh, the raw sunny day. Because I think I have to Dynamax Venusaur for the best possible outcome. Uh, and a Heat Wave will do a lot to this Gothitelle. I just have to avoid a lot of shenanigans. Let's see if they go for the, like, the Fake Out Trick Room or something. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, and the Taunt. Okay. So they probably think that uh, that Klefki's useless here, right? But that's, that's where they're wrong. That's where they're wrong, right? Check this out. Check this out. Uh, Charizard could probably live a hit from everything here. I think I just want a Heat Wave. Because um, they don't do too much to me unless they Dynamax the uh, Raichu, which I think wouldn't be their best play. I'll actually get in the Venusaur here. Actually, I, I really can't afford to get a Venusaur. I really can't. I'll go for the Raw Heat Wave. Man, I really want to get a Venusaur, but I don't want to get nuzzled. You know, I'll, I'll risk the nuzzle. I'll risk the nuzzle. The Shed Shell is going to let me switch, which is really nice. I'd rather get nuzzled into Charizard than anything. There's the Dynamax. I'm hoping they nuzzle the Charizard, because then this is winnable. I don't see a situation where they like go for Max Mindstorm into the Klefki or anything. They should just leave Klefki alone, to be honest, since it's absolutely useless and it would have been trapped there. It's weakness policy. Hello? Okay, that's interesting. I had no idea this uh, that Raichu got, bro uh, got Brutal Swing. That's really cool. Hopefully I land my Heat Wave here. All right, that's decent damage into both of these things. Critical hit in the Gothel. Can I get a burn? <laughs> No, not quite. There's the Max Lightning. I don't mind losing the Charizard here. Alright. So what I'll do here is I'll actually get in the Klefki. And I think the way I have to play this out to guarantee I knock out this Gothitelle is first I have to Dazzling Gleam and Max Guard. Yeah, that's my play. First I Dazzling Gleam and then I Max Guard. Um, because that'll stall out a turn of their Dynamax. And also they should be targeting into this this Venusaur. And then next turn I can go for my... Um, it's going to be a little bit risky because I'm likely going to get nuzzled. But I, I, don't, I don't trust Life Orb Max Overgrowth to KO... Guard. There's the nuzzle. Okay, cool. That's actually really good. Here's my Dazzling Gleam. Critical hit in the Raichu, not that it really matters. There's the Max Mindstorm. I want to see if Weather Ball actually does more in the sun than my um than my other option, which is the overgrowth. Energy Ball. 
How much time do I have? 29 seconds? Let me see. Wow, that does like nearly nothing. Okay. Oh, man, I don't even think I take this. Alright. Here's what I'll do. I'll set up my sunny day. Oh, I'm trapped in here. Yeah, I have to go for it. And we'll max overgrowth the Gothitel. So that'll allow me to outspeed the Raichu. Um, and I don't know if we take plus two max Mindstorm. It's going to be really close. Ah, yeah, that didn't do much. Maybe I should have targeted Raichu to avoid the Nuzzle. Because I think we just lost our Mon here. There's the Max Mindstorm. Yeah, we just lost the Mon. Um, let me think. Is there any way I can actually win this? I think I just lost already. I mean, let me think. Mana Buzz is going to get weak armor. So it's, the paralysis is only really going to affect it negatively if um, if I get fully paralyzed. What I could do here is foul play the Gothitelle and Dazzling Gleam. Likely going to get nuzzled though, but um, weak armor go will go off. There's the nuzzle. We're going to get fully paralyzed, but weak armor is going to pretty much undo that. Alright, there's the foul play. For the KO on the goth. But they still have three Pokemon. <laughs> so I don't know how well this is going to go for us. Uh, that looks like it doesn't two-shot, unfortunately. I suppose what I could do here is try to get a Tailwind off with my Mandibuzz. There's the Inteleon, okay. So I actually prefer my odds versus Inteleon. Uh, let me Dazzling Gleam here. Try to get off a Tailwind. We're probably, gonna, we're probably gonna get nuzzled and all I'm just trying to do is mitigate that. Because I'm probably not gonna get two weak armor boosts. Uh, we should eat that. Yeah, we eat that pretty well. There's the rising voltage. Okay, that's going to knock us out. Oh, we live. Okay, this is... Th this might this might be doable. This might be doable. But there has to be a Grim Snarl in the back again. That's that's the one caveat. There has to be a Grim Snarl in the back. So let me Dazzling Gleam again. To knock out that Raichu. Since we are going to outspeed, I'm going to go ahead and foul play into the Inteleon. Hopefully we don't get fully paralyzed here because we should outspeed it. Alright, cool, we get that off. Can I crit? I'm wearing black glasses, dude. Alright, that did a good amount. Dazzling Gleam. Alright. There's the Ice Beam. There has to be a Grim Snarl for me to win. If there is a uh, Incineroar, we're in trouble. I don't know if they brought Incineroar, considering I had full special attackers. I'm really hoping that there's a, there's a Grim Snarl. <laughs> No, it's Incineroar. Okay, so that's probably game. That That is most likely game. Alright, let me Dazzling Gleam here. And that does nothing. Um, I... I think it's possible if we somehow live this Flare Blitz, but we're not because it's in the sun. Yeah, that's going to take a lot of uh, recoil, though. Yeah, no, even if we lived, we would have lost. Alright, well, good game to Versus Network. Uh, got a little bit unlucky with the uh, with the Crit Para in the first game, uh, but uh, overall, I think he played super, super well. 
Uh, hopefully we can bring it back next week. We've been on quite the losing streak recently, so uh, I'm just hoping we can bring it back. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.